Hi, I'm Tal, I'm the founder of LightTag. And in this video, I want to show you how easy it is to tag your own text uh, with LightTag to build your own NER models or just understand the text data sets you have. So this is our landing page, lighttag.io. Uh, give us a visit and you can just come and press on a try our demo now to get into the demo page. And you'll be asked to sign up quickly um, and then you'll get access. I, being a founder, I'm already signed up, so I'll just log in. And you'll notice that the second that we log in, the first thing that happens is we get work. So we don't have to go through a bunch of files and find what to do, and we don't have to turn on some process. The work just arrives. So let's take a moment to understand what that work is. In this case, I've set up before that we get a, a bunch of tweets from President Trump, and you'll notice that there are a number of them, and LightTag allowed me to specify that I want to show all the tweets from the same day and order them by the time they were sent so that I can annotate with context. Um, and then we have a bunch of different tags from our schema that I've defined before. Uh, so like country and person and insult and achievement, etc. And so let's see what annotating is like, right? Happy Small Business Saturday, uh, great to support a community to make job creators by shopping locally. I don't think there's anything here, so I'm going to say, hey, I read this. There's nothing here. I'm going to commit to that. That's it. I'm done annotating this thing and I'm going on to the next one. So now I see the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau and I'm going to highlight all of that because I think that that is a group. So I'll select group from up here and apply. And then another way that I could annotate is actually use the keyboard to move around and select CFPB. And I already have group selected, so I'm just going to press enter and it's going to apply that label. And then I'm going to keep going and I see total disaster. So total disaster looks like an insult and instead of having to reach around with the mouse, uh, I'm just going to use the keyboard shortcuts. I'm going to hit L to get to insult. I could have said, I don't know, S for person or A for country, uh, but I'm sticking with L. Total disaster is an insult as run by the previous administration. So we're going to say the previous administration's pick is a person, nah, uh, et cetera, right? And say I'm done with this example, I'll press done. And that's how we annotate. Now, the nice thing about LightTag is because it's a team effort, it gets to see a lot of information very quickly. And a good annotation system should learn from that as quickly as possible, and indeed we do, and provide suggestions based on what the system has learned from you. So let's see what that looks like. Here are a few things that we missed apparently, so let's undo that. Great is a superlative and America is a country, so we'll accept that. We already highlighted total disaster, uh, so we're gonna reject that one. And the public is a group, so I'll accept that as well. And we've already improved our annotations. Um, complete disaster, I missed that before, but I'm gonna say that complete disaster is the label, so reject disaster. Fox News is a group. Important is a superlative, uh, United States is a country, CNN is a group, the US is a country, CNN is a group, world is a bit vague to be a place, so we'll reject both of those. Uh, I is also a bit vague to be a person, fake news uh, is an insult. And this is really nice because we didn't capture everything, but at least all of the very simple things that we just got to zip through them and now we can focus our attention on just the stuff that matters, right? So. Uh, check out the recent editorial in the Wall Street Journal. That's a group that we missed. So I'm going to uh, apply that. WSJ, I'm going to also say that's the same group. What a complete disaster. We say that's an insult. Um, and the CFPB, we know is a group, has been under its leaders from previous administration who just quit. Who just quit sounds to me like an insult. Um, great. So, and I'm done with that. Fox News is much more important than the United States and CNN, but outside the UNS, CNN International is still a major source of fake news, so that's an insult. And they represent our nation to the world very poorly. So that looks to me like a transgression, right? They're doing something not so nice to us. So I'm gonna select this entire phrase and highlight it as a transgression. Uh, the outside world does not see the truth from them. So I think that is also a transgression. Poor President Trump. Uh, done and then wow even I didn't realize we did so much which the so that's an achievement uh, we did so much so I will highlight that press Q for achievement um, and press done great and that's it we've highlighted the day of President Trump's tweets um, and we'll submit that and then happily for us there's even more work to do Trump is a prolific tweeter um, and then we can press suggestions to again go through that, but we've already seen this, so I won't, uh, I won't do another one. So let's ask the other obvious question is, where did work come from? So how did the system know to assign me this particular task? 
Well, for managers, and the demo page, everyone is a manager, and if you have your own installation, then you will be. Um, we can see the different tasks that we've already set up. So in this case, we're annotating Trump tweets with schema Trump tags too. Uh, and I'll say, show you where those came from in a second. And then we have annotating the Bible with a schema from the Bible, so that's great. And then each of these are prioritized and can be active or uh, inactive. So say that management comes in and says, wait, wait, stop with this political stuff. It's much more important to annotate the Bible. Then we can just send that to the top and from now on, every annotator or worker on our team that's going to log in would be getting work um, from this task and not from this task because it's the highest priority. Unless, of course, he's finished everything he had to do uh, in this task, in which case he'll get the next thing on the priority list. And what's nice about that is that I, as a project manager, don't need to start assigning work and no one has to ask, hey, what should I be doing now? The system knows. So how does the system know? Um, we can, as managers, define a task and basically say we'll annotate a data set like Trump tweets with a schema, say, parts of speech. And we can define how many annotators per example we want. So that means that for every example that we have to label, how many people need to go over that for it to be considered complete. And the reason we might want more than one is that it's the only way for us to know if the annotations are very good, right? If we're labeling data, then obviously we don't have a golden source. So how do we know that our labelers are doing a good job? And how do we know that our schema uh, is well-defined? The only way we can find out is if we compare what multiple labelers did. Now, traditionally doing this was a big pain because you had to assign work somehow in an Excel sheet and then tell them you're doing this file and you're doing that file and keep track of them. And if someone was sick, then you lost that. Then you had to uh, uh, compensate with someone else. Um, and this way with LightTag, you just specify how many people you want. And as people log into the system, uh, they get the piece of work that's going to optimize for the particular priorities that we've set. Uh, and finally, we can define if we want to use suggestions or not. So we saw suggestions before, and obviously they make work much faster, but at the cost that they sometimes introduce bias. So it's up to us uh, if we want to use them or not. My personal preference is to use them to build large training sets and not to use them when we build test sets. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's how we define work. So after we defined work and we did work, then the next thing we want to do is know what the status of work is. So we can just go to the analytics and I already have it open on another tab here. So this is the basic light tags analytics screen where we see a lot of the different projects that we have on going on the demo server and we can sort those say by priority. So we already set the Bible uh, task to be the top priority. So that's the data set, that's the schema. And we can see it has 809 examples. We've asked for two annotators on each example. And then what's interesting is this stuff, right? How fast are we going? Uh, so we can see that 14% of the Bible data set or the Bible task has been annotated by one person, but we want two annotators on every example. So what's been complete in that sense is only 10% or about 80, uh, 80 different examples. And so now at least we have a sense of how fast we're going and where we stand in terms of our goals, but is the data any good? So we can kind of zoom into what's going on in that task and see annotator by annotator how they're performing. So I'm going to rank them really quickly by the total number of annotations that each, um, each, each annotator has provided. Uh, and we can see that our top one has done 161 and our worst one has done three, probably because it's a demo server. And then the metric that's kind of interesting is the fully agreed percentage, right? So in this case, um, we asked for two annotators on every example and we want to know how many of those examples, how many of each annotation that the annotator number two made uh, were agreed by by everyone else so that they're fully agreed on right and we see 30 percent and so is that a high number or a low number i mean obviously it's disappointing um but is he performing well or no well we can see that he's about four percent above average uh, or i would say average and so he's not an excellent performer or a poor performer but it does tell us well if that's more or less the average then maybe something is wrong with how we've defined this task and if we can catch that early on, 10% in, instead of after labeling the whole thing and putting a model in production, then we can spare ourselves building a model on bad data and making bad production decisions. Um, and so I think this is a very useful view, not just to say, hey, you're working well, you're not working well, but more importantly to understand, hey, did we define uh, this task correctly? Did we explain it properly to our annotators? and find out that we haven't early enough so that we don't build a lot of bad label data, which is probably even worse than having no label data. 
Um, and then one other cool feature is if we do want to kind of understand how each one of our annotators is performing, we can zoom in on his personal level and see, hey, he's worked with uh, annotator 15, they've shared 29 annotations, they agreed 62% of the time. And this is useful to see if there are groups of people who think in a particular way or groups of people who tend to think very, very differently. And as a manner that's useful because these clicks tend to have different information or views about the world and I can quickly use that as a manager to understand, hey, this part of the schema makes sense to this group and this part of the schema makes sense to this group. How can I use that information to make a consistent schema that everyone understands? Um, and that's about it for the management interface. So let me finish off by showing you a few more annotations. Uh, really quickly with the suggestions, so POTUS is a person, and real Donald Trump is a person, and Flotus Melania is a person, and VISIT is not really an event, and USCG is a group. And again, we can work very quickly with the suggestions, we can easily define our work, it comes automatically to us, we get good insights about what's going on. Um, and that's really what LightTag does, so if this is relevant for you, come and give us a try, or at least log in and label a few Trump tweets at demo.lighttag.io. Uh, we're looking forward to hear from you. Bye-bye.